Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this problem, we're going to compute the Laplace of t times the sine squared of t. Solution. So whenever you have a Laplace transform, and there's a t, and it's being multiplied by something you can compute the Laplace of, there's a very useful formula. So the Laplace of t to a power times f of t, this is equal to negative 1 to that power, so negative 1 to the nth, times the nth derivative of big F with respect to S evaluated at S. So big F here is the Laplace of little f. So this formula is useful when you can compute the Laplace of little f. So this is our little f in this problem. You might be wondering, well, the Laplace of sine squared, that, that's not easy. It's not, but it's not too bad. I, I'm pretty sure we can do it with an identity. Oh, and in this problem, n is equal to 1, right, because it's t to the 1. That means that after we find the Laplace of little f, we only have to take the first derivative. So let's go ahead and try to take the Laplace of little f. So the Laplace of sine squared. Well, sine squared, there's an identity you can use. It's 1 minus cosine 2t all over 2. This is equal to the Laplace. You can break this up. It's 1 over 2 minus cosine 2t over 2. Then you can split this up and pull out the 1 halves. So this is 1 half. Laplace of 1 minus 1 half Laplace of cosine 2t. Let's keep going. This is equal to 1 half. The Laplace of 1 is 1 over s minus 1 half. And then the Laplace of cosine 2t. There's a formula for this. So if you have the Laplace, say, of cosine kt, the way I memorize it is cosine has the s, so it's s over s squared plus k squared. Sine has the k, so cosine has the s. So in this case, um, k is 2, so it'll be s right over s squared plus 4, because 2 squared is 4. So that is big F. This is big F of S, right? This is the Laplace of little f, right? The Laplace of little f is big F. So all we have to do now is take the derivative one time. That's because n is 1, right? n is 1 because we have t to the 1. So to differentiate this uh, one time, um, so what's the best way to do that? Um, well, the derivative of this is easy, and the derivative of this is going to require a quotient rule. I think what I'll do is I'll differentiate this and then and then work with differentiating the whole thing because I don't want to use the quotient rule with this negative one half here. So let's let's find dds of just of just this piece here. So s over s squared plus four. So using the quotient rule, the derivative of the first is one times the second minus the first. So s. So the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom. So 2s all over the bottom 1 squared. Let's check that. So the derivative of the top is at 1 times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, which is 2s over the bottom 1 squared. This is s squared plus 4 minus 2s squared all over parentheses s squared plus 4 quantity squared. If you have 1s squared minus 2s squared, you get minus s squared plus 4 over s squared plus 4 quantity squared. So blew that out right really quickly, did the quotient rule. Okay, so now let's go ahead and formally write down the derivative of big F. So big F prime. Okay, so the derivative of 1 over s is negative 1 over s squared. I have that memorized. If you ever forget, what you can do is you can write it like this, and then just realize that when you differentiate, you put the negative in the front, you subtract 1. So you end up getting that. So at some point in my life, I got tired of doing it, and I just memorized it. So the derivative of 1 over s is negative 1 over s squared. This will be negative 1 half 
times 1 over s squared. Just putting the negative in the front, right? That takes care of this. Minus 1 half times, and then this, right? This is the derivative of this. So um, it'll be negative s squared plus 4 over, and then s squared plus 4 quantity squared. All right, so we have our derivative, and now we can use our formula. So to finish, we have the Laplace of t to the 1 sine squared t. Let's recap what we've done. This is equal to negative 1 to the 1 times df ds. Evaluator at s. So what is df ds? df ds is the derivative of the Laplace transform of sine squared. So in this problem we first found the Laplace transform of sine squared. Took some work. We found big F. Then we took the derivative. I did it in pieces, right? I found the derivative of this piece first because uh, I didn't want to have to deal with the, with the numbers in the front. And then I just wrote it again over here and took the derivative of the rest. So to finish, we just uh, multiply our derivative by negative 1. So this will be equal to, so multiplying this by negative 1, it's going to be a positive 1 half. Then 1 over s squared, right? Because this is this, right? Same thing. And then plus uh, 1 half times, and then negative s squared plus 4 over, and then s squared plus 4 quantity squared. And that would be the final answer. So the main thing you should get from this problem, I guess, is that whenever you have t to a power times something you can take the Laplace of, um, you want to use this formula. It's very, very uh, useful. That's it.